Hey guys, this is I'm Ghost of You with another Minecraft video. Um, and this is my uh, redstone ticker display, also known as a scrolling marquee. Um, and it's finally finished. I've actually had to redesign this thing twice. But so far, it's working perfect. So, we're going to read the signs first. Programmable redstone ticker built by I'm Ghost of You. Uh, the original design was by me, actually. Uh, I had no other design to study before I built this. I actually came up with these ideas in a brainstorm. So. <laughs> I do want to give special thanks to this guy uh, from the RDF server. I believe it's pronounced Grace Chap or something like that. But he actually made a ticker display that was non-programmable, but it kind of gave me the inspiration to build one because I had always wanted to build one, but I was stuck. And I, he showed me a very interesting way on how to get it to work. So I guess you could say he gave me a little bit of, ins of um, inspired design in my... Uh, version here but anyway fun fact this took me about a week to build and it was redesigned twice so yeah um, we step up here well first let me just go ahead and show you that it works here's the read from memory button which is basically the read button uh, it is a little bit glitchy right here but that's because my computer lags that is not at all because of wiring issues it only glitches right there in the front it's good at the back for some reason there's no way I can fix that it might be better on some of your people's computers who are better than mine which is pretty much everybody because my computer sucks. But anyway, um, so that said ghost, and I'm going to go ahead and program the word hello. And this will take a little while, so I'll speed the video up. Okay, so that's done, and now that I have it programmed in, I'll push the button, and if I didn't mess up horribly, it should be the word hello. In all caps. <laughs> hello! So yeah, this works. I'm very happy with it. I just wish my computer was a little bit better so it wouldn't have that little laggy thingy whenever I try and view it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on how to work it. <laughs> how to work it. Anyway, this is the keyboard or whatever you want to call it, the keypad. Basically, I draw out a letter. Let's say I want the letter A. So if you watch closely, I will draw out the letter A by making an upside down U. I'll just go all the way around, and then the middle one I'll turn on. So, And the lever down means on. And then you come over here, and you click Save. See, this says Save letter here. Save as character 1. I'll save that. And then I'll come back here. I'll make a number one for a character two. Actually, I'll make a number two. So, el numero dos. Yeah, just like that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Just like that. That's number two. And save that. And um, I'll just make uh, a square for character 3 and this will be a square and I'll make a solid square for character 4 and I'll make it 100% solid for character 5 and after all that's been saved, you can actually reset all these levers back to their original state. That doesn't mean anything. It won't mess up any of your characters. I'm lagging because I'm switching too much redstone fast. Every time you pull one of these levers, it has to update about 150 to 200 blocks. So, now I have an A, a number 2, a square with a hole in the middle, a solid square it's kind of laggy because of my computer and then completely solid so it works all the time 100 percent programmable and uh, if you guys want to peek at the wiring here all this white the this major chunk of white that goes around here and goes over here that's all of the levers for the keypad 
it connects to every single one of these. Now these blue columns is the memory for each and indivi every individual character, which see there's five columns, there's five characters. Uh, it can be expanded. It would just take up a lot more wiring and it would be a lot harder, you know. But I could do it and I might eventually make this. I wanted it to be a 12 character thing, which will eventually maybe get there. But okay, and then the green here is the I really don't know what to call it. That's basically what makes the memory work. If it wasn't for the green, the whole thing wouldn't work. Uh, the orange are just the wires back to the display. And then these little blue columns are the read button. The button that says re labeled read from memory. That's what reads all of the columns here. And, uh, okay, one last thing is these five white things coming off right here. Well, one of them's blue. Two of them's blue for some reason. But these five right here are the save buttons. If you see this first one goes underneath here. This is quite messy. I'm sorry, guys, if it's hard to understand. Let me just go in there with it. It goes over here to this green. And it goes up here. And this is what saves the memory to each and every one of these. Now, all these blue columns are are D flip-flops that are two wide and I think five tall. Uh, three across and five down, so I have a three by five memory array here. Goodness, everything's working against me. A three by five memory array, and then I have these pistons here, which, whenever they're powered, which means whenever they're on, they will push out, and this repeater will give power to this block, and because this block's receiving direct power, this wire gets powered and that goes back to the display and then you see what happens here whenever I click the read button it goes through this repeater powers this block this repeater powers this block this repeater powers that block now look if you look here since this is the letter A you see this one's in this one's out this one's out but this one's in so what happens is the power will pass through here power this block which will power the wire but then it'll skip this one which leaves one space and then it'll give this one so it'll be like a, two pulses of power it'll be power no power power and that just goes directly back here and goes to the display. It's really not complicated. It's just extremely big and time consuming to wire it all up. But uh, so far, this has been the biggest, longest project for me, which they're getting bigger every time. So every time I make a new one, I say that. But anyway, uh, it's only five characters. I do maybe want to expand it later. But that depends on if I want the headache of messing with it again. But anyway, it works. It'll be up for download. Um, and I'll give a link to a forum post. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'll put it up on the forums yet. But anyway, guys, this is I'm Ghost of You with my scrolling marquee or redstone ticker. Yeah, I'm excited. It works. Five letters. I mean, that really ticks me off. This little bit of lag right here. Now watch, if I get really close to it, maybe it won't lag. See? It doesn't lag if I'm like right next to it. It's probably because it's a chunk board right there. If I back up, it lags. But anyway. Okay, guys. This is I'm Ghost of You. And I'm out.